Hello and welcome to Chapter 4, Lesson 5. Uh, today we're going to be talking about multiplying by a, a two-digit number. We've been talking about it, but we're going to talk more about it and talk about different strategies for doing that. So uh, place value can help you multiply. All right, let's get started. Anne's mom. Hello, Anne. Anne's mom buys two helmets. Each helmet costs... So we're buying two helmets, and each one is $24. How much does she spend on helmets? So we need to find 2 times 24 uh, to solve this problem. Two, there we go. Okay, so this is kind of our standard algorithm of multiplying. So let's get started here. So I write them on top of each other, 24 times Two, and I'm lining up the ones, I'm lining up the tens, okay? And really, I'm not necessarily lining them up. I'm just making sure that they all go to the right side line. They're lined up on the right side. Um, I'm just going to say that because of decimals, they're a little different. Um, we don't necessarily line them up, so I don't want you to get that misconception. Um, so first, we're going to multiply the ones. Two... So I'm looking at this 2, and I'm going to multiply by 4. 2 times 4. 2 groups of 4. So that would be 4 plus 4 is 8. So that's going to go down there. Again, lining up on that right side. Most of those numbers are nice and lined up. Then I need to multiply the 10s by 2. So then I'm multiplying here. 2 times 2 is 4 10s. So Ann's mom spends $48 to buy two helmets. All right, let's try it. Uh, it says check for reasonableness. We could do the area product, uh, partial products, area model. So 2 times 20 is 40. 2 times 4 is 8. 40 plus 8 is 48. So we matched them. The answer is correct. All right, so you can estimate to check for reasonableness. Um, here it says 31 bikes. 31 bikes were ordered from Jimmy's bike shop. Each bike has two tires, right? How many tires will Jimmy need for the bikes? So if I were to estimate 31 times 2, what I would do, I think doing 30 times 2 is not so bad, right? We just are doing 30 plus 30, and that's 60. Or counting by 30 is 30, 60. So our answer should be close to 60. Now we're going to multiply. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 2 groups of 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Okay. So my answer is 62. So Jimmy will need 62 bike tires. So when we're checking for reasonableness then... Um, the product 62 is close to the estimate 60, right? Our estimate was 60. And so then we know that when we multiplied, we did a good job because we're nice and close. Okay, here we go. Multiply and check for reasonableness. Okay, so first I do 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, now if I were going to check for reasonableness, I would do 40 times 2. Two groups of 40, 40 plus 40 is 80. Yeah, and those are reasonable, right? They're close to each other. Okay, here I have 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2, 3 groups of 2, 2, 4, 6, is 6. Okay, now if I were to check, I would do 20 times 3. Uh, and that is 20, 40, 60. So are 63 and 60 close to each other? Yes, yes they are. 11 times 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. So our answer is 44. Let's check by saying, well, what if I did 10 times 4? 10, 20, 30, 40. Are 44 and 40 close together? Yes, they are. Okay, here I have 32 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 
2 times 3 is 2 groups of 3, so it will be 3, 6. 64. To check, 64. I'm going to do 30 times 2, which 30, 30 plus 30 is 60. So are 60 and 64 close together? Yes, they are. All right, and that's all that I have for you for today. So thanks for watching, and make sure you let me know if you have any questions. Bye.